Hey yogis, welcome to day 15. So today I want to take you through a practice for hips and back specifically. And there's been a lot of detail. I've been trying to pass a lot of teaching onto you in these sessions that we've been having together. So today what I want to do is just leave a lot more space. So this is going to be a minimal cues practice. I'm not going to be trying to pass any kind of information to you other than just guiding you in and out of the postures and just leaving you plenty of space in between for you to just kind of navigate on your own for a little while and maybe just, you know, pulling in what you've been learning so far. So today and tomorrow is just about giving you space to navigate. Okay, so a seated position. Closing the eyes, breathing through the nose. Start with three deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. If you are rushing, slow yourself down. After your deeper breaths, just breathe normally through the nose. Let your body soften as you breathe. yourself to start to be aware of this moment. Deep breath in and out. Coming on to all fours, ready for a dragon pose. You can have a blanket under the back knee, but you can also roll your mat up for cushioning. So we're going to take the right foot forwards and have the left leg behind. So you can see now there's some padding under that back knee. You might be okay if you're on carpet. Make sure your knee is directly over the top of your ankle and let your back leg go backwards far enough that you start to feel stretched through your thigh, your back thigh. And you'll also feel it through the back of this leg here that's in front. You can rest into the floor, fingertips, palms, blocks or cushions either side as well if you don't quite reach the floor easily. Soften through your shoulders. And you can control how much you let go into this. The more you relax and let your hips drop and lower towards the floor, the more stretch you get. And this can be a tetchy muscle. <laughs> this is a uh, Holds a lot of emotion, this muscle in the front of the hip that we're stretching. So just be gentle. Don't max yourself out in terms of sensation. Breathe through the nose, down into the belly. Soften and be here.
So pressing into the front foot and stepping back to all fours. Just rock your hips from side to side a few times. This can be quite intense, this posture. Try to keep soft in the face, the jaw, the neck, the shoulders, because you can easily build tension to your body during this posture. I know I do. So left side now, left foot comes forward into this runner's lunge, essentially. Maybe you're leaning into blocks, maybe the floor, maybe cushions. And this back leg just pushes back until we get the stretch going through the legs and the hips. So softness through the shoulders, face down into the belly and let your effort fall away as you breathe So releasing yourself from the posture by pressing into the front foot, coming back to all fours. You can place your props if you were using any to the side and just rock the hips from side to side a few times. So continuing with the hips and from this position, we take the right leg and we take it through into pigeon pose or swan pose. So again, the back leg wants to drop back or push backwards until the hips have dropped as low as they will. This front foot, this front leg is at an angle. We can take Z pose if we want to. So for Z pose, we just sit down onto the side. We let the back leg bend. We let the front leg bend and we just stay up onto our palms. So this is more gentle. If we're up in swan, we can stay on straight arms. And then if and when we feel ready, we can come down towards the floor, leaning forearms into floor or blocks or cushions. And then eventually head will make its way down to the floor, maybe even with a block or a cushion underneath. breath drop down into the belly find little ways to let go as you breathe out
walking the hands back up taking your leg back behind you and just take a rest for a moment once again just rocking the hips from side to side be present in this moment observe something okay we can take the left leg in front now right leg drops back and we take our version that suits us don't rush to come down and know it's so tempting because it's lovely to relax the body more down here but we do have to listen to this hip and we don't want to kind of scare it we don't want to stress it out we just want to be like this is what we're doing it's okay <laughs> so we want to be super gentle let it get used to it and then if it starts to open up then you can start to deepen Closing those eyes. Consciously letting go as you breathe. Walking back up and pushing into the front palms to come back to all fours. Just rock those hips from side to side a few times. Sit down to the side, take your legs around in front of you. As we did yesterday, a reclined butterfly. So taking your bolster or cushions behind you and relaxing back into this very passive back bend. You can let your soles of your feet rest together. Your knees come out to the side. The heels can come in quite close, so different to the seated version. And you can have your arms up into that cactus arms, Y shape, or even tuck your hands around the back of your head if you want to open through your chest too. But it's nice sometimes just to take your hands up onto the body or you know, the elbows relaxed into the floor. Or just let the arms relax down to the sides so we're not maxing ourselves out with sensation breathe through the nose continue to just experiment and play with this this yin energy this softening and letting go in all different ways finding softness in your body in your mind even in your energy your attitude
as you let go a little more. Soften a little more as you breathe. Breathe a little deeper down into the belly so as you soften and rest you, you revitalize at the same time. knees back together, press into your feet, lift your hips a little, and then rolling to the side to come up, or pressing into your hands and using your stomach muscles, take your legs straight out in front of you for caterpillar, so you can have cushions or blocks under the backs of the knees, and you can have something to rest into. or nothing at all. This could be a posture that doesn't need any support for you. Close your eyes, breathe down into the belly. Breathe a little deeper, a little longer. Soften away from your tension, away from your resistance or rigidity. Walking back up, slowly, slowly, taking some deep breaths on the way out when that feels good. Just sit back onto your palms, lift your chest up for a moment, pull your shoulder blades together, even drop your head back. Big deep breath all the way up to the top, all the way down to the end. And then coming to a seated position. Just sit for a moment. As you realize from these practices, especially when I shut up for a minute <laughs> and give you more s silence and space, 
you, you do tend to really tune into just how therapeutic stillness is and silence. Bring your palms together, heart center, lower your head to your fingertips. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for being here with me, yogis. So I hope that you enjoyed that practice. That's probably very different, having all that space. Don't worry if it wasn't perfect. If you found that you wandered off a lot more, that's very normal when you've got less guidance there. It's just practice. And uh, there is no such thing as a perfect practice. I've been practicing meditation for decades and it still is a dance of going away and coming back and going away and coming back. So don't feel disheartened by that. It's kind of all part of the practice. So if anything like that comes up, you can run it by me and by the other people on the challenge um, in the Facebook group. So you have the link to that in your daily emails. I do have some classes on the channel that are just for lower back and hips. I will link those in the description below. And I also do have a practice, full length practice and many more coming uh, that is just minimal cues, lots of space and silence so that you can kind of navigate on your own for a little while. So I'll link those at the end. I'll link those in the description and I look forward to having you here with me tomorrow. Namaste yogis. <laughs>